Yeah. Welcome. I look at I look at everything like as a scenescape, I guess you'd say like, you know, this medium of high and low is something I've really, really been infatuated with since the inception of fruition in 2005. Being able to mix and match uh, an amalgam of mediums and uh, times and fabrics and all these things are a part of, I guess, the continuum and the bridge that I'm trying to create between the old and new generation. Um, in a lot of ways, I just feel blessed to be a vessel to, again, serve as a bridge to these people that have a voice and have sort of this history and imprint on history, but um, can communicate it into a new thing and a new way of uh, understanding for a lot of the younger generation. Vintage garments are not only my building blocks, but also, uh, to me, the future of how products are created and uh, a gateway and a gatekeeper uh, to the future. So vintage garments have really been almost like the atoms to the DNA of what we're creating. And I feel like the basis, and you know, I'm very fortunate to have been schooled in that um, medium in order for us to now create some new things. Wow. Um, you know, it's a really great satirical, uh, uh, <laughs> a really great satirical play on words. Um, I actually feel like there's better ways to um, draw me and there are better ways to uh, communicate what we're trying to do like in a, in a farcical humor kind of level you know I, I'm very much like tongue-in-cheek and you know we don't take each other that seriously take each other like completely like it was offensive or anything like that so you know it's just a fun thing and it was it was cool beautiful just like everybody else uh, you know women are, are the lifeblood to what we do I think it's a very you know big big time component it's a street culture and um, and women and women in Miami are you know amazing for sure uh, you know I'm still a proponent of great thinking and great execution can still transcend terminology so the hierarchy of all over prints used by Phoebe Philo and Celine and some of these other brands, you know, takes on a different form and a different shape. And we've tried to do that and um, transcend that in the way that we brand architecture in our spaces and the way that we brand um, clothing in our spaces. We're really trying to rip away that kind of like preconceived notion, those stereotypes, very similar to how people are stereotyped in day-to-day -day life. Oh, icon, uh, leader, mentor, you know, the pillar of what we stand for. Uh, very similar to, to Kanye or James and Eddie Cruz. All these mentors that I've been very blessed to be working with and um, in some ways emulate you know, an icon. Someone to aspire to be like. Uh, short attention spans, but longer um, attention spans towards evolving and getting better and hungry or more passionate kids, you know? That's what I see streetwear as, like, this emotion and this ignition of, like, energy and strength towards becoming better and stay more hungry and passionate for discovery and learning. And that's what, like, I'm inspired by. Easy twos, I mean, just, you know, the new Tinker Hatfield. You know, or, or whatever you want to call sort of like statement pieces of our culture. These are the things that are going to find our generation and I feel like sneaker culture in the years to come, uh, the easy two is going to transcend and as, as it evolves into other things and other items, um, we'll see the future of kind of like commerce and products, meeting philanthropy and also um, messages. From what I've seen, I actually not too well versed in football, but um, it's transparent to see when somebody really is living something, and it's transparent to see when um, you're meeting God halfway. And I'm a big proponent of that. I'm a big proponent of you know I can only control what I can control, and and those are my decisions and you know the things I can control with my actions. But the rest, you know, I can't really worry about. And I see that with him. And you know, faith is real. And that's that's kind of like what I've seen from him. And off the court, and I mean off the field and on the field, uh, I don't really know too much about him. But what I have seen has been really positive.
Chris Julian, futurist, philanthropist, uh, entrepreneur, fruition Las Vegas, unknown Miami, Kanye West. Heard you found a solution, where you be for the revolution?